Kirk Svinyang, and I'm representing RVM Gatlin North. Uh, Gatlin North is uh, based on Moyer Mo Castle and the events surrounding it. Uh, it's a tower defense game in which you defend an objective from waves of enemies by placing towers, and those towers will shoot down the enemies. In Gatlin North, you play as the English army, and you place the towers to defend your castle. Uh, by defeating enemies, you get money, you place more towers, and you upgrade the towers to defend against tougher and stronger opponents. Can you fend off the opposing army and restore peace to the realm? The game is a factual game based on the events of the Nine Year War in Ireland. Um, it was the time <coughs> where Moray Castle was erected. It's a casual game, and by that we mean it's a game that can be picked up by anyone, even without prior gaming knowledge. And it's also a game that can be picked up and left off at any point. So, if in like if it's in a resource center, you can if someone leaves, they can leave it on a pause menu, and someone else can pick it up immediately and just pick up where the left up, the last person left off. Currently, we have six stages planned. We have, from the top, we have the Battle of more, uh, Yellow Ford. Uh, Towards the tower? We have the Battle of Yellow Ford, closest to Loch Ness. Under that was uh, Battle of Moray Castle. Uh, to the left, the to the left of that, we have the Siege of Enniskillen. Under that is Battle of Curly Pass. In Minster, we have the Siege of Dunboy Castle. And in Munster, we have the Siege of Cahir Castle. These are all based on real battles that took, part, took place in the Nine Year War. And there are, all the maps are inspired by those battle locations. The target demographic for our game is young gamers to adults. Um, the gameplay style is what will interest our younger audience with easy to understand controls and fun mechanics. But the history aspect of our game will encourage older customers to play the game. The game's level will increase in difficulty, giving our older customers a challenge to make it more fun for them to play while still being fun for younger kids. So for our game, it is a Peggy rating 12, as it includes unrealistic balance towards human characters. And this is in line with our target demographic, and will mean a wider range of customers will be able to play our game. To keep the, this age rating, we won't include any signs or pictures unsuitable for younger audience or swearing and realistic balance. Uh, for our platform, we're choosing the mouse and keyboard because it allows uh, us for, to target PCs uh, featuring Windows, Linux, and Macs. Uh, and we also, it is also possible to port the game onto a phone by replacing clicks with taps. And the UI, which is going to be explained a bit later, also has the Capabilities of using a phone inter using a phone interface. So for the aspects of the game, we've gone for a pixel art style, and then just to, there's a few to show you the visual representation of what the game looks like. So on the starting there, you've got the pikeman, musketeer, skirmisher, Spanish knight, cannon, foot soldier, flag bearer, uh, heavy cavalry, and normal cavalry. Those are our enemy types in the game, and they're just yeah. Each will have like different. Uh, properties, so yeah, yeah. like health and speed and stuff like that. Yeah. So this is the map of her Murray Castle. It's the sort of main focus, at least so far, of our game. And it's got, I don't know, it's like the, it's one of those starter levels, so it gives like all players to have a bit, sort of experience it first, and you know, and most people. And the next one, and then here's the here's the bottom half of the user face. It's not totally done, but we just 
we just put it in to show sort of an example of what it would look like and all the functions and features such as the upgrade stacks and the health and the comment. Yeah. And then from our game we've taken a lot of inspiration, so <coughs> obviously mainly more recast and on the history around it in the nine years war. But for the buildings and UI and stuff we've also taken a lot from Elizabethan architecture, which is sort of the style of the time, I guess. And then the uniforms and weapons and armor of the soldiers was from the early modern period, which we've also taken a lot of inspiration from. So this game is a fun and attractive way to learn about the events of the Nine Year War. The gameplay mechanics make this game be quick to understand for all the ages. And this game will give customers a better knowledge of the events that happened in the Sleep Billion area, with the main level being based around the siege of Moira Castle. And our game will benefit the company by helping educate customers through a new entertaining interactive element making learning about the history and experience. Thank you for listening. Um, that's the end of our presentation. Uh, we're open for any questions. Um, in relation to your map and the different locations of the battle, you know, obviously the main point of this is to promote uh, you know, um, the local area of the Lincoln Guardian. Um, when you click on that, is there going to be something that pops up and gives you the backstory it'll, of it? It'll be a hoverable, so when you move your yeah. mouse over, a window will pop up with a preview of the map and information regarding what happened in the location. Okay. Okay. Um, and do you know why it's called the Gap of the Tower? So basically, like, in terms of the wars and stuff, this would have been the main road to get to Ulster. So, like, in terms of what was around it, it probably would have been loads of trees and put the ring as well, so the mountain, so it wasn't very accessible and would be very boggy as well. So in terms of like your landscape, it's probably like trees and mountains and bogs basically, you know, so uh, yeah, it's very good. Um, is it a top down game? It's a uh, nice trick. Nice so it's like a... 45 degree angle, I'm pretty sure. Okay. And would you say there's another game that you're that you're kind of getting inspiration from for the style that you're creating? Uh, yeah, sort of stuff like Kingdom Rush and Balloon Towers, which are their car fans games, which have taken a bit. But the, well, the pixel art is basically the star thing, because it would be simpler to do it than draw stuff, which I don't know if it really has been, but uh, <laughs> it looks nice, like I think, at least. So, yes, know. yes, I like that style. Yeah. Um, um, did you mention sound? Um, uh, a little bit, I think. Like for the age readings, like non violent sounds and stuff like okay. that. Okay. And with sound and your magic words um, section, with the, the, the balance and synchronization that sound and magic, word, magic words needs to have. Yeah. yeah. So um, could you tell me something about that? The sound effects? And the, the graphic style and yeah, genre style. Uh, we're planning on using more like uh, realistic sounding uh, yeah, well weaponry. The, not like the, yeah. not like the, the with like older games like Pixel, but like the pixelated sounds. We're, not going, we're just going for more like smoother sort of standard sort of stuff. standard sounding yeah. like gunshots and yeah, stuff like that. But still like but fairly toned on. Yeah, since it's a bit to the time period. And for the soundtrack, we're going for like I don't know, like a mix between medieval and sort of classical, so like lutes and stuff, and then like a 